Until now, this blob was the only mouse cursor we had on iPad. However, now, thanks to iPad OS 26, we have a slick looking new mouse pointer. But how do we get it set up? How do we change the color, the border width, all of those options? Well, you would think that you would go to your mouse settings or maybe your trackpad settings here and you would just adjust it. But no, we've only got things like tracking speed, which is important, but is not the be all and end all. We want to change the color and make it look super cool. So where you need to go for this is actually your accessibility settings. If we tap accessibility, scroll on down until we find pointer control. And this is where we can change everything that we need. The first thing we have here is increased contrast. No, wait, before I tell you this, this is the development beta of iPad OS 26. Please don't update if you're in the middle of a major project. You've got the public beta coming out next month. You've got the full version coming out in fall, which people tell me is about September this year. So yeah, this isn't cool enough for you to update if you're in the middle of a big project. But if you just like to live on the edge, let's dive in now. Increase contrast. This gives it a bit more of a background there, a little bit less opaque background, so you can actually see it easier. I kind of like that one. Automatically hide the pointer. Uh, you can turn it on. I don't like to. I like to always see my pointer. I like to know what I'm pointing at. Color. Color's important. We know red goes faster, but what about if you're really boring? We well, can go with no color or white. And yeah, you'll notice there, sometimes when we tap things, it doesn't change or it changes to the wrong thing. That's why it's a beta version, yeah? So yeah, you can select orange and it says no, you're getting yellow. So yeah, you just gotta go with the flow with that. So let's go back to red. You can change your border width, so you can go really thin. Or you can go really thick and chungus. Speaking of chungus, how about we increase the pointer size and make it comically large? Or if you've got much better eyesight than me, you can go teeny tiny. Look at that pointer. It's adorable. I go somewhere in between. That's actually a bit too chungus. Let's, uh, let's decrease the chungus. All right, that's looking better. We've got some other options here. You can ignore the trackpad. Uh, now I can't demonstrate anymore, but hey, you use your magic keyboard and you keep accidentally tapping the trackpad, maybe do that. There's some other options here like double tap to drag or trackpad inertia and the pointer animations. Now, if you don't know what these are, this is where if you go into something like GarageBand here and you hover over something, see how it does that? I used to think this was super cool, and now I find it kind of super annoying. So I'm actually gonna turn those off. I don't think we need those anymore, especially now that we have a lovely new pointer. And finally you got your scrolling speed, so you can turn that from turtle all the way up to rabbits. I'm a little disturbed at the turtles. They're, they're cool but they've always been deemed as slow. So that's all of your pointer controls that we have here. You can use these. Is it much different to the old blob? Not really, but it's definitely easier. In my experience, when you're using things like Logic Pro or GarageBand or other things, it just means you know exactly what you're pointing at and it works really well across all of your different applications. Do you want to learn about everything else that iPad OS 26 has to offer? Well, check out the other videos I cover. GarageBand, Logic Pro, LumaFusion, the multitasking, and a complete overview as well. All those videos you can find linked right on the screen right now and in the description. And until next time, uh, happy beta testing.